there everybody, Weeb Rabbit here, and today I'm checking out a game called El Hijo, A Wild West Tale. Now this is a game that I had had on my radar for quite a while, I had heard about it a couple years ago when it got announced, and from what I can tell, it seems to be a very interesting game, where basically you play as this child called El Hijo, which is Spanish for the son, and it has to do with like, it's like a spaghetti western aesthetic, where a mom drops off her son at a monastery to keep him safe. He decides that he does not want to stay safe. He wants to be reunited with his mother, so he escapes. And the game's supposed to be this spaghetti western aesthetic mixed with stealth. And I don't know, it just looks really interesting. You just play as this kid, you know, stealthing his way around, trying to make his way through this crazy world, crazy dangerous world, in order to find his mother. So I don't know, I just thought that premise was interesting, and I feel like there's not that really that really that many stealth games out there, you know? Not any like really big name title ones anyway, so I thought that sounds cool, you know? So here we are, I am playing the Switch version. Without further ado, let's dive in. Alrighty, so it says prologue. So I believe this might show off some of what I explained, where we should see his mom drop him off. Because she wants to keep him safe or whatever. I mean, we might even get the reason of why she's dropping him off, honestly. Alright, so that's our playable character. As you can see, he's just a little kid. He got his poncho, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, you can tell he lives like on a little farm or something. Alright, game control's fine. You can run but for a short burst of speed. I mean, you can only run for a little bit. You can't run like indefinitely. Okay, we're following our mom. Yeah, I already know about the running. Alright. Alright, I was gonna say, why isn't she proceeding? But okay. Yeah, his stamina isn't great. Because there's some sort of a tombstone here. Some someone's grave. His dad, perhaps, or. Alrighty, so we place some flowers. Now, what's next? Alright, it says, Bird's Eye View. Hold R to get a better view. Reveal points, vision cones, and useful objects nearby. Ah, okay, so it literally taught us the Bird's Eye View using the bird. That is cool. Now we can actually see, like, where it's safe to cross or not. Interesting. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, it says light and shadow, it points and see you in the light, but in the shadow you are hidden. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, crouching, symmetry, and spirit sight cones indicate obstacles are partially blocking an opponent. You can crouch along these obstacles to stay hidden. And then it's Y to crouch. Interesting. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I'm guessing those are the basics. And now we're probably going to find out, like I said, why he gets put into hiding or whatever. Oh damn, that house is just on fire. Okay, jeez. Yeah, a lot of the art has him with the slingshot. The slingshot's like his like, primary weapon, I think. See, this is the thing where the monastery is at. And I gotta say, the music's pretty good so far. I like the music. I like the presentation of the game. It's pretty good so far. Oh, 
Alrighty. So I guess we don't really find out why she puts them into hiding, but I mean, it might be one of like the most common things, like they owed money probably, and that's why they burned down their ranch or whatever, you know. I'm guessing it's something pretty simple, you know. All right, the tower. Oh, damn, dude. Okay, wow, they were just chasing them on with guns. Holy crap, dude. I didn't think we were gonna, like, see her for a while, jeez. Yeah, this kid's basically just trapped here. All right, so I'm guessing this is probably where we're gonna escape, because I don't think he enjoys himself very much here. All right, let's see. Oh, I mean, I didn't think the stealth had already started. I thought maybe we could, like, talk to the old man or something. Okay. All right, so I'm, just, I'm guessing as long as I stay in shadow, I should be okay. There you go. Yeah, see, none of these people have... Okay, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to skip right away. I thought there was going to maybe be like he would like, talk to somebody or something. But like, no, nah, dude, it's just like he automatically just tries to get away. It's crazy. Alrighty. Okay. What is this? Oh, I pressed the accent. Let go. It doesn't tell me there's anything else I'm supposed to do, so hopefully that's it. That's why I was missing the prompt. I have to go like to the edge of it to open it. That's why. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, the dormitory. Alright, so there's some dudes down there. This first floor. Oh, there's actually someone coming. How far does he go? And so for the first part, for the most part, this first floor should be okay. Dude, it's been like so long since I played a game that had like like that, you know, that wasn't just with stealth mechanics, like it was like purely stealth. It's been so long since I've played a game that's like purely stealth, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I hate this though. Well, you have to be standing in very specific spots to trigger some of this stuff. Like, look at this. There we go. That's the one thing I will say against the game so far. It does feel weird I have to be like in a very specific spot. Like, if I'm not in a very specific spot... Then it feels like it won't trigger what I want him to do. Look at, see right here, look. He won't trigger it, he won't trigger it. Okay. But yeah, I was saying, it's been so long since I've played a game with dedicated um, stealth, you know what I mean? Not just a game with stealth sections, but like that's purely stealth. Man, like the last games I've really played that have that, have been, you know, like maybe like uh, Hitman or like, I don't know, like Metal Gear 5 or something. Like, man, just playing like actual stealth is really fun. Oh boy, I'm in a weird spot right here. This is all shadow, so I should be safe. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. I wish I could hide behind the curtain better. 
Hiding behind the curtains is a little tricky. I feel like you can't just like, like dive in. You know what I mean? Let's see how I can do this. I have to be careful because this guy on the right also turns every so often. There we go. All right, so these are getting a little more complicated, right? Also, there's our kid. There are other kids at the monastery. There's like a little girl or a little boy with long hair or whatever right there. So I'm not the only kid here. Okay, let's see. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe the crouch? Yeah, crouch. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> damn it, I ran right into that person. Alright, let's see, what can I do here? How about this way? This way? Ooh, I'm kinda close. Alright, perfect. Let's see, what's over here? Some sort of little escape over here? A little gap or something? That something's there. The Balneary, or whatever you call it. I don't know how to, how to say that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So what is this? We need to get some sort of tech. Alright, what is that? Stones. Those stones to distract opponents. Hold is the R A and press A to throw. Ah, so this is where it gets a little interesting. We start gaining some weapons to help us out. Alright, so we want this guy to come... How about over here? No? Okay. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Uh. Hmm. All right, dang. All right, all right. I wonder if kids will rat you out. Will other kids rat you out? Do they care? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Ah, damn it. Friggin' priests with their fat asses. I can't, can't go around them. <laughs> damn it. Uh, so I was thinking, you know how, like, they call uh, our main character El Hijo? I don't know if anyone's seen those, like, um, Spanish Dragon Ball C rankings where they have the characters that have all sorts of crazy names, like, um, Gohan Calvo, El Hijo, El Padre, El Gran Hermano, Shaggy Rojo, all that stuff. Like, I wonder if that'll come into play here. <laughs> It'd be great to see other people with those freaking names, man. See the tier list come to life, like, great. And like, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll, I'll have to, I'll get to sh fight El Gran Hermano or something.
Yeah, it seems like some sort of shortcut though. No, there's nothing down there. Alrighty. Let this guy leave over there. Ah, I need to move farther. That guy's not budging. There we go. Come on, move, move. Thank you, sir. He see me here? Is there a technique light? Guess we'll find out. Nope, seems like it's okay. Perfect. Have to hurry though. Perfect. Crap. <laughs> Mm, it's kind of hard because he it's a really narrow corridor. I don't really know where I could get him to go. That is kind of a hard one. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to like this little corner or whatever. Ah, this guy is snug. I want to say he's snuck up behind me, but like, damn, dude. Alrighty, and that's enough for now. I think you guys kind of get the point. I will see you in the main menu in a moment. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. I think that's a pretty good glimpse of El Hijo, a Wild West tale. Uh, Commentary-wise, I wouldn't say it's the most interesting game, because obviously it is a stealth game. It's a lot about, you know, ducking and moving and knowing when to go, you know, etc. Not too much happening commentary-wise. But, as someone who was playing it, let me tell you, it is very interesting getting into the game and trying to figure out your way through the levels and trying to see if there's different strategies and etc. That part itself is really fun. Um, I kind of mentioned at one point during the video, I feel like there's not really that many games that have like stealth that integrated into them. Like sure, there's games that have many stealth sections, but a game that's like purely stealth, I feel like we don't really get that many these days. So, I don't know, I really like this game. I think that the fact that it's like, you know, revolving around stealth specifically, and like I said, there seems to be different strategies and stuff for how to do it. I think it's really cool. And so I would recommend it, you know, if you're really like a big stealth fan. Uh, besides that, this game seems to be out on all systems, I think, plus Steam. Uh, per you know, uh, personally, I was playing the Switch version. I thought that it ran very well. I like the controls, you know, everything about it. So there you have it, guys. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.